we're seeing a lot of innovation for companies and organizations to respond to the crisis. We're seeing innovate, innovation priorities changing because of the crisis. How do we develop and deploy disruptive technology at scale? How do we explore the future of sustainable production, consumption, and work? We are at the healthcare crisis. We see so many health tech uh, companies that are sometimes pivoting to look at how they really help solve this current situation. This was the most data-rich um, crisis that the world has ever faced. And in fact, it is the use and interpretation of that data which has very much helped New Zealand. And I think it's really uh, amazing how quickly we moved with new innovation models in telemedicine. So in the second, of course, is the telework. We are three seeing more strict use of face recognition cameras, uh, biometric sensors, and other tracking technologies that is being used to limit freedom of movement. There are emerging innovation opportunities to help countries improve their governance structures. Epidemiologists have taken existing medicines and capabilities and put them in new combinations to deal with responding to a virus, innovation on the uh, vaccine front is huge. The industries which have been most resilient are those which sit on digital platforms. How we shift basically the resilience and diversity of our economy. Healthcare, housing, education. Those are the opportunity spaces. Today, they account for nearly 40% of total national spend. In agriculture, the combination of bio and digital techs will define our growth and hopefully push our economy. We can facilitate to change our society system and the research system to new normal situation. Keyword is a digital transformation. There's a lot of opportunities like agriculture tech, supply chain, automotive, like looking at mobility. There's really like a lot of components around FinTech. How is innovation, how is investment changing on the new things because of the situation and going forward? We have a pretty major challenge to deal with and that is how we shift basically the resilience and diversity of our economy. Very often we're talking about potentially cities or regions uh, where innovation is happening. But I think there's this sort of real shift uh, today because at the end of the day, talent is everywhere. There's a burning need to accelerate competitiveness, to accelerate innovation that underpins long-term productivity and inclusive prosperity but in a new way. The pandemic showed that more than ever, uh, the importance of public policies and government's priorities to innovation. We are now thinking about is a big project that encouraged people, researchers, to find a way to improve our system, our society. This is what we call Moonshot Project. We will see deeper integration among those countries that do have shared values and shared uh, narratives for the future.